Hi Scorpio, welcome to your love reading for the month of February 2019. I have already shuffled the cards and I've laid them out. We're going to go over your energy, the energy of the person you're dealing with in love, the energy of the relationship, and the overall outcome of the month of February. So look, let's go ahead and get started. The first two cards is your energy. And you have the energy of the Devil and the Two of Wands. Okay, Scorpio, so the Devil is a card of addictions, vices, obsessions. And the Two of Wands is a card of being at a crossroads being in front of two paths and trying to decide which one to take. So, Scorpios, I feel like you're in... This is the case with you, Scorpio. I feel like you're at a crossroad. And I feel like one of those paths is this devil. One of the one of those paths is, um, is a path that is um, toxic, that is um, negative, that is going to that is going to put you in a place of of danger and um, trouble and um, conflict but you know with this this light here at the top of this card I feel like you do you're looking I feel like this person is looking at that light like their eyesight is Go looking straight at that light. So I feel like many of you are very, very tempted to take this path. Um, I feel like many of you are very seduced into taking this path. I feel like it's the one that you feel very drawn towards. Um, but I feel like you know that this is going to be something unhealthy and toxic. And I feel like you know that you really should take the other path. The other path that um, that steers away from this from this devil energy, which is like this path here, because I feel like this person is not looking at this wand. I feel like they're looking at the the one in front of them here. Um, but the one in front of him is this toxic one, unhealthy energy. So really, you should be looking at the other one. Um, yeah, so, um, many of you, for many of you, this can represent, you know, um, this can be, represent somebody who is married or who is, um, you dealing with someone who is married or who is, um, very uh, seductive and very mysterious. Um, but definitely somebody who is not stable and that you know is not is not gonna offer you anything um, anything long term. So let's go over their energy. The person you're dealing with is okay so we have the four of pentacles and the two of swords yeah uh, many of you also with this with this two of wands can be dealing with two people two two choices that you have um now Their energy is with the four of pentacles represents being, um, st being stable, being uh, financially stable, or just um, metaphorically can be that this person is very grounded in their life. Um, they have everything they need, and um, they're not dependent on on anybody else. You know. 
because this person looks like they're they're alone you know right and like they're they're independent you know and this two of swords energy um feels like this person is definitely indecisive kind of like you are actually because you have the two of wands so both of you are kind of split both of you are unsure of which which side to take which path to take um I feel like this person with this four of pentacles doesn't want to be disrupted in their in their um in their how can I say in their independent life like they like they don't want anybody to bother them at, at, in their personal affairs I want to say like I said this person is very um, independent so they don't want anybody imposing themselves um, on them and um, ordering them or telling them what to do and it's like they don't want to split finances with anybody also. This feels like, you know, what's mine is mine and what's yours is yours. So even though they might be wanting a relationship, they don't want to share any of their own, of their personal possessions or profits with you. And they're definitely, that they're thinking about that with this Two of Swords, like, um... I think they're fearful that, you know, they're going to have to make sacrifices in this relationship that they don't want to make because they're comfortable where they are and they're comfortable with everything they have and they don't want anybody disrupting that. So that's their energy, Scorpio. Let's go over the energy of the relationship. The Knight of Pentacles and Justice. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow energy, very methodical, um, again, very grounded, very practical energy, and the Justice card is a card of commitment and balance and equal give and take. Um, they're both holding a sword in these two cards, so... Many of you are in a karmic relationship with this justice card. Many of you are tied to this person also. Like, or the, and both of you are like tied to each other, I want to say. Like there's a karmic tie between, between both of you. Um, but overall, I feel like this energy is very stagnant. Because the Justice card is a card also of just going back and forth in evaluating, you know, the scales means like um, evaluating, um, weighing out the, the good and the bad. But I feel like this card never actually makes it, it's, it doesn't progress the relationship, you know. It's not, it doesn't represent making a decision. And this Knight of Pentacles, uh, I don't feel like it It also doesn't represent making a decision. It's also just a card of observation and just um, taking, taking its time, being very slow. So definitely the energy of the relationship is very stagnant and very, very... Um, Yeah, it just, it doesn't, it's not moving forward, it's, um, it's kind of like frozen in time, I want to say. Frozen in time, yeah. Now the overall outcome is the Page of Pentacles and the Four of Wands. Now, the Page of Pentacles is, um, uh, represents uh, a message. Um, especially the, the pentacle represents um, um, receiving news, uh, specific news about something. Um, 
pentacles are grounded, so it's like um, receiving news about a, a, a decision. But the four, the four of Wands represents marriage, union, um, relationship. However, the this page is not looking at the Four of Wands. It's looking away. So, I feel like this Four of Wands that looks like a like an altar, like like the type of altar that you get married under. It's it's gonna stay empty. I feel. Like nobody's going to show up to this, this reunion or this celebration, this marriage. Um. So I feel like it's just gonna either it's just gonna be left on standby. Yeah, which is what I feel with the Page of Pentacles. It's like I'm not ready to make a decision now, and that's why this person is looking away. Um. So I feel like it's the outcome is just that it's going to both of you are just gonna um stay distant and stay uh uncommun uncommunicative with each other and just um leaving this on the leaving this relationship on standby. So that's your reading Scorpio. I hope it was helpful. Please subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you next time in my next video. Bye, Scorpio.